Hello everyone, Sid here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to create a shopping cart in Laravel 8. So how you can do that? So I am expecting guys from you, you know how to install the Laravel and the some basic stuff you have already knowledge about it. If you don't know how to install the Laravel, how to create a model, how to create a controller, this I mean some basic information you don't know about the Laravel thing. So also you can check out from my uh, YouTube channel which is a real programmer and so you can check I already uploaded in the my video playlist so you can check it everything's about whatever tutorials I'm uploading so yes I have already done the around the 70 videos something you can check we have already uploaded the 70 videos so you can check out from there and you if you have any kind of issue definitely let you know I will create a more videos for you guys so let me show you again now we are here and uh, let me click on the home page so you can check it just click on the any add to cart and I'm going to again back let me add also so, uh, some coffee so now you can check we have the cart and in the cart we have the multiple things like uh, update things suppose you want to update quantity of course you can do from your side and the price is here you already can check it and now the total values here we have and suppose you want to remove something just click on the remove button now you can check the prices I mean of course the minus of total of the price we have done you know the hundred rupees and three multiply the hundred rupees something so now we have the total uh, you know amount we need to pay around the four hundred dollars something now what you need to do just click on the home page so these uh, basic informations I'm expecting guys so you also aware about how you cre can create a you know some b basic yeah, laravel structure how can you can install the composer and uh, those those small small things I'm expecting guys you know about it so now let me show you how I have done from my side of let me show you my blog I have already you know whenever I'm creating a, any I mean video so I am I'm trying to also create a blog so you can get the code as well as also if you typing anything so you can also understand exactly what are the step I am doing here how I am doing so everything also you can do sometimes it's difficult to you know suppose I'm writing in the you know showing the code and you're writing sometimes also doing the same things so difficult to understand what I am doing so I'm trying to explain in the from the blog and also I will show you my code so yeah this way I think so uh, you can create a, any anything so, you know, suppose if you're creating any project and any functionality you want your project definitely this way you can do that but I need your suggestion also guys so please put your comment uh, in description area definitely I will also try to you know make a different way I will I want to explain you guys so let me scroll down again here I have already written the step what are the step I, I was doing here in the project so first of all you need to install the laravel project in your machine so if you don't know how to install laravel definitely you can watch the previous video so this step already I have written here so this way you can create a laravel project in your local machine so now I am going to inside using the cd command in the inside of the project then what I am doing here I am going to open my you know complete uh, you know project in the VS code I have uh, of, of course in the VS code whatever you have editors so definitely you can use your own so I'm using right now in my machine which is VS code now you need to connect from the database you need to create a separate database you know for the your project so now we have uh, this configurations you need to put inside of your configurations whatever configurations you have in your machine like a local host if you're working the local host or any server so definitely you need to put whatever uh, you know in the database credentials you have so let me scroll down now what i'm doing here here i uh, of course i'm also installing the some package which is related to shopping cart so this package i'm using here which is the direct decode cart so of course you can run this command after running this command also you need to configure inside of the config app.php like uh, you need to add a, a provider also you need to add alias so how you can add let me show you we have the app config folder inside the config folder we have app.php and inside of add, add dot, sorry app.php you need to add the inside of the provider what are the things you need to add this package we have already already installed in our machine after the installations what you need to do you need to add this particular of lines of code inside the pro providers also you need to add inside the alias let me scroll down here 
suppose we have already added the cart and inside the car cart also i have added these things okay so now what i am doing doing here let me scroll down again so this way you can do that now you need to create some you know controller and more controller and model and migration thing so you need to also run this publication i mean command so after the running this command what you need to do create a uh, you need to create a model so here we have the model name is you know uh, we have also already seen that here have the product uh, you know model and also separating we are also creating the some migration thing so this way you can create a guy guys uh, using this command now we have the id name price description and image so now also you, you we are using here time stamp hope so you also aware about the if you using time stamp so you can you know uh, also add a, like update and deleted at inside your database column now we have the model and model we have created the which is a protected fillable variable and inside of this variable also we are adding name price image and description those i mean small things also you need to add inside you know the this is the column whatever we have created the like uh, suppose we have the product name uh, product names so we have created model in, and we have the products name you know table name so now i'm scroll down here and suppose we have the you know product seeders so you know how to create a you know product seeders so we have created here product seeders definitely you can run this command and you can create a product seeder so why we are creating the product seeder if you don't know about the seeder what is a seeder definitely you need to watch out my previous video so i am explaining here also the product seeder i am what is suppose you want to add some dummy data inside of the database so you can create a uh, seeder and then you need to run one command for the you know storing the all value in set the database so we have created here the product seeders and let me scroll down again so i had just put at the value i am using for the image which is a uh, you know the free image i am using right now here and uh, sorry and slash and so you can use anywhere whatever you have so i had added here for the you know some dummy purpose so now we have the watch app watch we have and here we have the bag and perfume also we are storing some value like a name price you know some descriptions and image also let me scroll down we have the four things here and uh, after the successfully you know creating the those information also you need to uh, run for the you know storing the value which is command for the storing the value you need to run this command after the successfully uh, you know running this command what you can do you need to create a controller inside the controller you need to put i mean some functionality like a create update delete and delete all so th those functions will help you to creating all you know values let me scroll down here i'm going to show you uh, let me also we added uh, in the route i will show you how how what we're doing here so let me explain you about the controller now we have the one controller name is product controller second controller also we have the name is card controller so what we doing here let me scroll down again so suppose we have the card controller inside the ca card controller we are also added one function name is the cart list so inside the cart list what you're fetching the value from the database which which is coming so guys i am going to explain you here about the domain research so suppose you want to hosting or domain something in really cheap price and best hosting definitely you can select a domain research this is my personal recommendations guide and guys so just click on the domain and suppose I'm in India right now, so I'm going to select which is the INR currency. And here you can suppose I want, um, suppose anything. Suppose I am adding here like a domain register.com, same domain. Just check it. So the real domain something you get it. Let me add the in the you know watch list. I mean you know not watch list. Uh, we have it in the card. And let me click on the shared hosting. So whatever hosting you want, definitely you can select whatever those here. I'm going to show you uh, the some basic informations which are related to, you know, uh, which is the domain register. So I'm recommending you can buy any other. Suppose you have the multiple websites, so you need to go for the advanced. But I have one website, so I am going to select which is a personal. So let me add here and you can click on the use and just click on the continue button. Th this way you can, you know, 
can buy a domain and hosting from the domain register and also you need to fill the in basic information whatever you have uh, so this way you can buy a dom buy a domain and hosting the really cheap price we need to pay around the 2000 rupees only now we have the web.php you know for the routes purpose we are using the web.php in laravel so what you need to do you need to define your controller and functions those those things so now you know if this is the routes for using we are using the name name things so yeah yes whenever you're creating you know this, this function is especially name so you need to do, define in the route uh, whenever you call inserting your your where you are basically inside of the your anchor type so definitely you this way you can you know you, you this way can also you declare in the route now let me you know this is simple whenever hitting the anyone so we are you know this is a home page basically you can say yes this home page basically we are calling whenever someone hitting the, this routes and we have the cards if someone hitting the get method using cards so we, this is card basically and now this function is calling and uh, we have the four post method uh, for the you know for the inserting add, add a card from shardy update card demo button clear all cards so we have the, these functions and I also I will show you these functions what are the things we have written in the logic so let me scroll down again so now we have uh, we have the separate controller which name is the product controller and also inside the product controller we have the one function which is called is the product list let me show you so if someone killing the card we are calling you know which is the card and we have the product list which is coming from the home page let me scroll down again here we have the home page so inside of the home page what we're doing here we are showing the all product we all, whatever we have so let me scroll down again now i'm going to create the one you know inside the code logic for the controller so i have already written so now you if someone calling i already explained about the product controller so we are you know we are also fetching all product data from the you know from we are using ORM things here and you are storing inside the variable and we this way you can pass the you know whatever variable you have and um, then you can exactly the print inside of the you uh, you view file so let me scroll on again we have the cart controller dot php let me scroll on again so let, let me show you again we have the cart same things also we're doing here so might be this is clear we are fetching here not product but we are fetching using the, those functions you know we are fetching all details from the cart whatever we have in the cart so we are fetching this way you can also can fetch so using this way now let me scroll down and what we're doing here we have the storing the all values inside the one where you know when array you can say something then this array also we are storing you know inside of the database using this technique so you can also use that and uh, here we are storing the success you know we have this we are storing the session this way you can so that one when whenever the user something form you can so i mean of course this alert we are also using this uh, you know success message i will show you how you can do that definitely this if things is clear in your mind definitely you can also check it now we are returning in uh, in the route i mean of course we have the cart and dot list so this way we are uh, you know returning this uh, cart so now let me scroll on again now we have the update you know update uh, functions we have update card so this way also if you're getting sending any request so then we have the two uh, any anyone send the request which is coming uh, appearing the basically ID then then what we're doing here we are sending the relative is false and quantity whatever quantity the someone sending so of course we're doing updating basically here for the value basically whatever values the is someone passing so yes we are also sending same message like you know uh, item cart is updated successfully like alert already I saw you let me show you if someone doing anything here yes this alert coming from the you know this method which is cart successfully product successfully created then again you updating something let me show you this you know alert is coming item cart is updated successfully so how this is appearing here so yes this way we are also updating you know the cart value so let me scroll down same things for the removing if someone trying to remove something from there yes so you can check item cart remove successfully yes this way we can you can remove and clear all what we're doing here one functions here we have the using the all cart clear this way also you can you know can remove everything from your uh, you know uh, from your data or your, your table you can remove everything so these functions we are using here the clear and so now let me scroll down uh, we have the you no know, uh, we have the front dot so why we are using basically the header and footer things for using this technique 
and let me scroll down we have the yield method yield method here we have the content so now let me scroll down again we have the product so yeah so this way you can also create a new uh, you know page let me scroll up let me again scroll up so you hope so this button you aware about what we're doing here okay so now let me scroll down again here we have the home and we have the route list so basically routes functionality is there and if someone click in the also we're showing this uh, get total quantity whatever we have uh, so we are showing inside the route let me show you where we're showing here here we're showing okay if someone clicking the home then redirect the home someone clicking the shop same things also we have and someone clicking the add to cart so this way you know we have this functionality you added a card so we counting the particular things is so a whatever value inside the card so we all counting and we also i mean showing here only let me scroll up i mean scroll down and we have the product dot plate dot php so what we doing here so here we extending the whatever we have the front end things so, so the, for the using basically a header and footer thing so now in the content success what we doing here let me scroll down here again we are using the for each loop so you know for you know for the showing all details whatever we have and uh, so let me here show you we have the product name we have the price and what we're doing here for updating you know for the storing the value we're passing this value which is price and name and image something and uh, if someone is putting the value at a cart so same thing also is storing inside the database and uh, let me scroll down again same things also in the cart so what we do in the cart same things also you know for updating and uh, you know for updating and delete techniques so of course we are doing here let me scroll down look we have the cart which is the update definitely you are passing some id so the id we have and quantity already so you i mean i think so you also clear about it how you can say already explain uh, explain it about you how we doing there okay so now we have the remove functions also one more functions we have the clear all so might be this guys you you can do that from your side if you're facing any any kind of issue definitely let me know and you want to explain nations more about the you know shopping cart definitely let you know and you put your whatever commands uh, co comments you have please 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 uh, put your you know description here definitely i will create a separate video for you and thank you for watching this video